Women from Ohio, Joan Rogers and her two teenage daughters were vacationing in Florida last summer when they were murdered and their bodies dumped into the Tampa Bay. Police say they're now looking for this man whom they also want for a beachfront rape. The composite sketch you're looking at is the first real lead police have had in the case. Dollars have been set aside for high street renovations downtown and all arrangements were planned, but much of that money was linked to the city's transit system and some of it may have to go back. Over $39 next year, more than $45 in 1991 and more than $53 the following year. Suburban customers would also have to pay more. The money is needed, they say, to cover millions of dollars worth of improvements at the Southerly and Jackson Pike treatment plants. Well, this coming Tuesday is the day to vote on all the election issues. Let's take a quick look at them now, one by one. First, the CODA sales tax you've heard a lot about, a quarter of a percent increase there. Also, the Metro Parks tax levy would cost the owner of a $50,000 house about 7 bucks a year. Uh, there's Children's Services tax levy also. That one would add up to $22 a year for that same homeowner. Uh, controversial one, the Dublin, Dublin Washington Township merger. Uh, there's also an income tax for schools, 1% uh, all across the board in several communities. And, of course, full slates of candidates for the Columbus City Council and for the Columbus School Board. Well, a controversial proposal in the Johnstown-Monroe...